I'm gonna make an easy skillet chicken supper with fresh figs. I've got a big old cast iron skillet or brazier on the stove here over medium high heat. And in each pan, a uh, large cast iron skillet, you're gonna be able to fit six to eight pieces of bone-in skin-on chicken, depending on whether or not you wanna do all thighs or a mix of dark and white meat. So we brown the chicken on both sides. I've also got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. We're not cooking the chicken all the way through, we're just getting color on both sides. When the skin is nice and crispy, the chicken has good color, you pull it out and you can turn the heat back a bit. Right now I've got it between medium high and high. Now I'm gonna turn it back just a hair. Couple of pats of butter go down into our skillet into the drippings from the chicken. We brown the chicken in olive oil, then we add a little butter for the sweetness of the onions to develop. One large or two medium red onion, a couple of shallots, and our big pieces of orange and lemon. A good handful or about a quarter cup of fresh rosemary. You can make this dish with dry figs too. I would let those simmer out in a little bit of stock or water though and plump up before you add them to the dish. Oh, crazy. A little black pepper, a little salt, over the shoulder for luck. Mmm. Grate our garlic right down into the skillet. Okay, I'm gonna let those get soft. Here's our beautiful fresh figs. I just trim off the very little nubber at the top and have them. And that's it. So I'm adding about three or four tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. This gives our sauce acidity and brightness, depth of flavor. And as the vinegar cooks down, it gets sweet and lovely. We highlight its sweetness with a fat squirt of honey. When we cook with honey, the lighter the color, the lighter the flavor. I just added, oh, about a tablespoon or so of acacia honey. Now we're gonna add some heat with some Dijon and a little crushed red pepper flake. And now we're gonna make it nice and saucy by adding a little stock in a box or bone stock, I like bone stock too. Yum. And then we nest, we put the chicken in the nest of the sauce. And then we're going to add to that, tuck our figs all around. And then we're gonna finish this in a 350 oven, just to finish cooking through to about 160. Figs, oh, get in there, buddy. <laughs> a few extra sprigs of rosemary, so it looks pretty when you bring it to the table. It's kind of tucked in and around. So cute. I serve it just from the brazier or the cast iron pan itself. To go with it, I think the simplest thing to do is just make some bruschetta, some charred bread, and serve that with the dish for mopping up all of that great sauce. Now, my favorite way to eat it is just like this. We take cut clove of garlic, rub it into the nooks and crannies of the hot charred bread, which you can do under the broiler if you don't have a gas top stove or just directly on the burner, as we just did here. Then good fruity EVOO, drizzled all over it. And then flaky sea salt, that's it. Just this for dinner, I'd be psyched. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we'll take out a piece of, of dark and a piece of light meat, pull out our orange rind or lemon rind pieces as we work. And then we take our figs and our balsamic onion sauce to drizzle down over the top. And then we jam the bread in all that juice 